Want to get hands-on practical lab experience for SOC analyst work making a home sim lab and just overwhelmed? Well, when you're done with this video, you're going to have this sim built and you're going to have these resume bullets you can add to your resume. Let's get into it. What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. I've got a banger for you. This blog post, A Simple Elastic Sim Lab, is a very easy to follow along, practical lab that will allow you to build a sim lab, push telemetry from a box via an agent into it, and do different types of interactions with a sim. Now, really quickly, a sim is a security incident and event management tool, and it is a critical tool of any SOC analyst. So if you're interested in getting blue team skills or becoming a SOC analyst, or just leveling up your game in that way, this is a free, easy way to do it that is tons of practical experience, believe me. And as I mentioned, those resume bullets are gonna be yours to put on there. But basically this is gonna walk through and build a Kali Linux VM box in VirtualBox. It's also going to stand up Elastic Cloud and then push telemetry from the Kali box into the Elastic Cloud. So let's follow it step by step. Step one is you need to get an Elastic account. So that's very easy. I will note that this is a free account, but it is a trial. So at some point you'll lose access. When you go to the link, it's gonna look just like this you can go ahead and use your google creds or sign up for a free trial uh, you can see here definitely no credit card required there's no financial gating of you uh, once you get into it you're going to see create deployment right i've already gotten in here it's pretty straightforward i'm in here right now create deployment and you should get this kind of look and feel okay so now we have the elastic cloud instance uh, up and we're ready to uh, start to configure it but first we've got to set up our linux vm i'm using virtualbox you can download it right here um, at this site, you'll have to get a Kali VM. Use this one right here, link in the description. Once you get that up and running, basically you'll use a uh, virtual box right here. You'll add one and then pick that Kali Linux uh, VM that you got. Once you install it, it'll be up and running here. You go ahead and just launch it and it'll look like this. You can see I have already got my Kali box up. We don't need VirtualBox here anymore. Okay, so we've got our Kali VM. Here we are. You can see that we can access the internet. So let's move on to step two, okay? Uh, follow these directions perfectly and we get on to step three. So now we have the Elastic Cloud stack, right? And then we have the Kali VM. And now we're ready to put the agent on the Kali VM to push audit logs and telemetry up to the SIM. So let's follow this. Go into the Elastic SIM instance, hit the hamburger menu on the top left, click on integrations and choose Elastic Defend. Let's go ahead and do that. We're in here. We're gonna go ahead, click on the hamburger menu. You can see down the bottom right there, it says add integrations. Let's click that. Right there on the top for me is Elastic Defend. If, you, if it's not there for you, you can just type in Defend in the search bar and you can see it shows right up. Go ahead and select that. Scroll down, look at it, whatever you wanna do. It gives you some interesting information information as to what it does. I don't really care. I just want to, I want to get that agent on there. So let's figure out what we're doing here. Click add elastic defend right here. Configure integration. Let's just say whatever you want. Okay. We're going to choose what you want. I'm going YOLO and doing the entire complete EDR solution. No big deal. Agent policy name again, since we're just kind of uh, testing this, it doesn't really matter. Go ahead and hit save and continue down the bottom here. All right, now we get this pop-up that says the integration's been added. Click add elastic agent to your hosts, the blue button right here. You wanna add that. Now we're gonna get some directions. We are using the Kali Linux VM, so we're gonna use this uh, Linux command. Obviously, if you're deviating from the blog post, then you're gonna have to choose your own adventure here. But for me, I'm gonna go ahead and click the copy button. I'm gonna go back to the Kali Linux VM. I'm gonna go ahead and paste it in here. You can see it popped in and hit enter really quickly. I just want to point out it's running and it's downloading all this stuff right here. So this is going to take a minute. A little longer than a few minutes later. All right. So you can see it's done loading. Uh, we can tell because the, um, you can see here, Elastic Agent successfully installed. Per the blog post, if you want to confirm it, you can run this simple command that you see in the in the uh, blog post right here. Pseudo system CTL status Elastic Agent service. Go ahead and run that just to confirm. And you can see we got a positive response from the system. Now let's go ahead and follow the next step. Step four, generate some tasks in here. They suggest we run nmap, that's fine. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's do nmap attack P 
tag, local host. This is basically just running an Nmap scan on the Cali box itself. You could see here, it found a couple listening services, made a little bit of noise. All right, so we've got two, two commands, okay? So that should be enough to get us going. Let's go back to the blog post. Now let's follow the steps. Go, let's go back inside to the Elastic Deployment, go to Logs under Observability and take a look uh, and look for Nmap scan. Okay, cool, let's do that. Let's go ahead and close this out. We're gonna click on the hamburger menu on the top left the hamburger menu and we're going to go to observability which is further down here all right perfect let's do this hamburger menu observability and then logs this is what we're looking to click on okay we'll take a look at what we see looks like we've got some telemetry in here very nice all right so i typed in process args uh, colon nmap and got a couple events which makes sense right we're going to go ahead click on the three ellipses and see some details on them and here it is we're seeing that nmap was run in the environment okay yeah nmap dash p like we're actually seeing the exact command that we ran cool we're seeing these things event process command line so we're seeing the exact same things by generating analyzing different types of security events in the sim we can see all sorts of things like wrong password attempts etc right now let's create a dashboard to visualize the events this is good so dashboards are pretty standard in software and for sims so let's go back and go to the analytics tab and click on dashboards okay so i'm going back into the sim i'm going to click on the hamburger menu again i'm going to go to analytics and dashboard you can see hamburger menu and dashboard right here so let's click on that create dashboard create visualization okay create dashboard uh the blue button right here and create visualization the blue button right here and going back to the blog post select area or line as the visualization type uh looks like they chose area in the example let's say area in the metric section select count as the vertical field and timestamp for the horizontal field okay so let's see where is that actually located over here on the right thank you blog post so horizontal is timestamp and the vertical axis is going to be count you can see now we've got count and timestamp let's click the save button to save the visualization save and return simply cyber visualization per blog count over time so now it looks like we've got this dashboard created and in there uh, picture they've got some visualization uh, showing up let's see what we've got i see a whole bunch of nothing see if we can't figure out something they said area in the blog post but in the pictures they did vertical bar chart so let's try that out and just see if that works for us now we're getting some graphics here let's do a little bit more on the cali box sudo dash l maybe sudo ps right make directory foobar and that tech sv local host just trying to get some more data in here so we can look and see the uh, bar charts changing there we go very nice uh and then i'm actually going to do nmap simply cyber.io all right so while that's doing it let's create an alert in the sim alerts are very important because they tell the humans what to look, go look for or what to go look at okay so we're going back to the hamburger menu up here okay you can see again hamburger menu security and then alerts this is what we're going for right here very nice let's go while that's teeing up let's create a new rule let's define the rule as a custom query and we'll look for those nmap scans okay let's click on manage rule let's create a new rule very nice a custom query as selected already the source is going to be event dot action colon and we want yeah, nmap scan and then we're going to click continue i think under about rule type that okay so as a sock analyst you'd actually want to give some detail as to what this is right like it's fun in a lab but you got to be thorough because if someone else like you you punch out a work and the next person comes in and this thing fires off they're going to be like what is this obviously <laughs> so you got to hook them up okay uh keep all the other defaults like schedule and click continue okay so let's do that let's click continue let's click continue so this is another good thing like where does it alert like you can have it fire off into slack and notify everybody you can have it open a jira ticket right for um action you can just like general web hook if you're going to get into apis and stuff this is really powerful and nice because um it allows for more automation and orchestration and i leave that to you as a exercise for yourself okay so in the action select the action you want to take all right so we have to choose some action let's send an email all right there we go so now we've created an action or excuse me an alert called nmap scan it's one of our rules this is fantastic let's see if we can fire it off let's do that really quickly and see if we can fire off that email and then we'll call it a win 
All right, it detected it. I mean, it completed it. So let's go back really quick while we, that alert comes in. We'll go to our dashboards. You can see here, the telemetry is coming in. So we are getting visibility. This is really nice. Wait for this to come in. While that, that's coming in, the blog post says, we set up a home lab using Elastic Sim and a Cali VM. We forwarded data from the Cali VM as an endpoint on our network to the Sim using the Elastic Beats agent, generated security events on Cali using Nmap and queried and analyzed the logs in the Sim. Um, we created a dashboard dashboard to visualize the security events. Not a very interesting dashboard, but we did. And we created alerts to detect security events, right? So alerts are huge. And, you know, usually when you set up a SIM, you can get um, like a default set of like best practice alerts. Uh, and then you want to tune those, obviously. Also, I'm sure there's dozens and dozens of pre-canned dashboards based on best practices. Like anything else, it's good to use some of the templated stuff out the box to get you off and running. But if you're gonna work in a SOC, you are gonna wanna start uh, doing your own detections. Uh, detection tuning is an entire kind of discipline within the SOC and um, customizing those dashboards for your best, uh, for, for whatever your business cares about most. Um, in the blog, they do say next steps. I want to remind you, so like this is basically just a, a basic kickoff of the um, sim lab, right? But at this point, you have a lab that is pushing telemetry. So what I would say to you is two things. One, you can either A, add more, a couple more um, agents into your networks, and then you have like a couple endpoints pushing telemetry into that one central repo. Two, I would recommend creating a couple more dashboards, a couple more alerts, like really robust it out. Maybe even go and Google like, labs that have alerts and detections, right? Eric Capuano's um, blog on So You Want to Be a Sock Analyst has a couple great examples. I'll link that below. And basically play with it and get in here. Now, as I said on the onset of this video, because you're doing this lab, you can use these resume bullets now. And really, you know, we did a very limited amount of, you know, sim work, sock work. So it's a thin resume bullet, obviously, but you are doing it and you have all the capability now and the infrastructure in your home lab to take it to the next level. And I would strongly encourage you to keep playing with this while the um, trial period is there, get as much value out of this as you can squeeze, maybe even document some of it. And then when you go to a job interview, you can say, oh, I've played with Elastic Stack. I've played with Kibana. I've created alerts and detections. Trust me, a hiring manager is going to find that fascinating and interesting. Believe me. Okay. Go check out this blog post. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, there's a lot of different opportunities here for you. Shout out to the blog post author, Abdullah Ali. Very cool. If you enjoyed that, go check out this. Um, so you want to be a SOC analyst video I did with Eric Capuano. It walks through another entire home lab that you can use for free to level up and get practical hands-on experience. I think you're really going to love it. In this next video that I'm going to drop right here, you are going to build a victim machine that is compromised with a post-exploitation framework called Sliver. You are going to set up a Lima Charlie, um, basically centralized management console that's very much like a SIM, but it will allow you to detect um, it's more of an EDR solution or endpoint detection and response. So you'll see the victim get compromised with the post exploitation framework in Lima Charlie and then be able to do um, response like quarantine and stuff like that. So this lab was more about SOC analyst. This lab I'm about to send you to is more about incident response skills. Get the practical hands on skills. They're so, so valuable in the market. Do these home labs. You're going to thank me. I'm Jerry from Simply Cyber. Until next time, stay secure.